Alright, so let's go ahead and create that food manager or food handler. So let's go ahead and call it food handler. We want to make sure that there's only one of these guys, so we're gonna make it a singleton. So much like we did before. So you go to no. We're going to make the constructor private so nobody can instantiate it. Method. Now this is going to take care of uh, producing the food for us. Now one thing we don't want to do is we're constantly instantiating uh, new objects, so we're going to instantiate all the ones that we need at once. And uh, so we're going to create a list of um, food entities. Let's instantiate it with, let's say, 100 entities, 100 food. Now we're going to give it an equal distribution, so if it's equal to zero, we're going to add a new apple. Else we're gonna add a new orange. Now, we're also gonna need some helper methods, like one which is gonna give us the next available food that is not already active. So. So I wouldn't get it. The simple this is gonna iterate through the list. And if um LST Let's get that into an object already. So let's make it equal to no. If 
is enabled, we are going to return him. If we don't find any, we're just going to return them. So again, this is just going to give us the next um, available food. Uh, we're going to add the usual um, um, delay and um, nice update. Uh, let's just give it a delay of about, let's say we want to fire food every half a second. And um, let's also give it an update method. Okay, so we got that. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to update every single one of those um, food entities. So we're going to have just a loop. So every time we update this manager, we are going to update uh, each one of them. And we're just going to do this by delegating the update to. the food item itself the same way we're going to have a draw and we're gonna do pretty much the same thing we're just gonna delegate the draw to the food entity itself. Right. Now there's one more thing that we're going to do in the update loop and that is if it is our turn to fire another one then we're going to do so so we're going to check if total game time total milliseconds if it's greater than our next update first thing we want to do is we want to um, prepare our next update for the next time We're going to get the next available food, and then we're going to do that. Is we're going to call the method, and it's going to go through. And I made a mistake here. It should be if it's not enabled. So if the food is not enabled, uh, we're going to get it. That means that the food is off and it's waiting for us to launch it. So if it's not enabled, we're going to return that food. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check if temp is not equal to no. And if it's not, then we're going to set that to enable. Which means that the next time that we go around, it's going to update it just along everybody else. And uh, let's see, we go through, update everybody, then if it's a time we check, we update, we get the food. If it's ready, we enable it, which means it's going to start going over there. And each one of our foods is going to have their own um, update, and then they're constantly going to be checking if they get past the left side of the screen, they get reset to zero, and they get disabled. So, we're pretty much done with this. Um, money here.